Hello everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to teach you how I created this eye makeup look along with the face. Today I am using the Amy Nadine Renewing Nude Eyeshadow Palette. It's exclusively sold at Costco or Costco Online. I will link it down in the description box where you can find it. We have four shades for $15.99. You don't have to be a Costco member in order to purchase this eyeshadow palette, but I really want to mention this is very, very nice and elegant for the packaging. It's glass, so it will get stained with your fingerprints. Very great pigmentation. They're very, very creamy. They're very blendable. Easy to work with for the everyday woman. If you guys want to know how I created this look using this palette, then go ahead and please keep watching. Thanks. So to have our eyeshadow stay on all day, we're going to prime our eyelids. Use whatever primer you have on hand. And with a warm brown shadow, you can use this to go ahead and apply on your crease. With the shade Mineral, we're going to go ahead and pop that onto our brow bone area to have a highlight. We're going to use this shade Teak and apply that with patting motions on the entire lid, making sure we're not passing that crease. Super important that we pack on instead of swiping because if you swipe, the color of this purple shadow is not going to appear as vibrant. With the clean brush, we're just going to go ahead and start blending that out just so it won't have a harsh line and making sure that that, that purple is going to diffuse into the warm brown that we put on first in the beginning of this tutorial. I went ahead and picked up Girls Night from the Too Faced Stardust palette. I'm going to go ahead and pop that onto my crease because I wanted a little bit more warm transition, transition shade. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up that same tea color from the Amy D. Dean palette just because I lost a little bit of pigmentation and color as I was blending it with a brush with no additional product. So after we pack on the color teak, we're going to go ahead and use that same brush that we used earlier to diffuse the colors and again just blending out that product. This has no additional eyeshadow on it, so it's just blending out that color. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a bigger brush. This is Sigma, this is Sigma E40. <laughs> and I'm going to clean that up with a Q-tip with makeup remover just so I can have a crisp line. At this point, you can go ahead and use eyeliner if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and pop my favorite. This is the NYC Matte Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. I'm using the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. And I'm going to go ahead and very smoothly apply that on my skin and making sure that this product blends well and once it turns tacky that's when you know you're able to apply the foundation. So I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. For concealer, I'm going to use the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer, which has been working really well for me lately. It does increase on me, and I am in the shade Sable. I blend that out with a foundation brush. I've been liking to take the extra step in using a beauty blender that has no water on it, that's simply dry. And just going ahead and pat that onto the skin wherever I applied a concealer or a, my foundation. Which has been really helping me like take out the excess and I've just been liking doing that lately. So I went ahead and used the Wet n Wild Highlighting and Dulce de Leche to set that concealer in place. And I'm going to highlight right now with the Sephora Ultra Illuminating Drops which have been honestly my favorite lately. I can't put this down but I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with this concealer brush that I have from Sephora and I will move on to setting my foundation in place with my powder from BH Cosmetics.
For bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and use the Naked Flush by Urban Decay. This is in the shade Native, and I'm just going to bronze up my face using the Tarte brush. And then I will go ahead and use that same Wet n Wild Contouring Duo Dulce de Leche shade, and I'm going to contour my cheekbones with it. So to set those illuminating drops, I'm going to use Laura Geller's Gilded Honey with the Morphe 310 brush and just popping that onto the highest points of my cheeks and I'm bringing towards the inner portion of my nose just a little bit just so I can have a nice sheen of color. And I will go ahead and pop that onto the cupid's bow as well as the tip of my nose. And for blush, I'm using this color called... It's called Smashing from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Holiday Blush Palette. You guys need to get it if you guys are in the hunt for it. Definitely pick it up. It's a really good palette. Now we're going to go ahead and use Teak from the Amy Nadine palette and pop that onto the lower lash line. And for the eyelashes, I used Ardell Demi Whiskies in the number 120. And I will move on to the lips. This is Milani's Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Cabernet. I'll list everything in the description box in case you're wondering. But this is the liquid lipstick from Sephora in the number 14, Blackberry Sorbet. Very nice formula, great pigmentation. And that is the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you ladies and gentlemen liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!